Hey guys, what is up? So, today we're looking at a coin called, well, Tendies, as in chicken Tendies, which is kind of odd. But it's a coin that trades currently at 18 cents. And there's a couple of reasons why I was looking into this. The main reason is, well, first looking at the fact that it's 1,271 on coin market cap, so it's quite low down, so not exactly something you would instinctively go for. But there could be some reasons behind why you might. For example, if I look on staking rewards, it's a 331.94% reward rate. You make 300% more a year than you put down. So that's kind of something. So, like, you put in $186, and you'll make back 617 So, you see something like that, and you think, hmm, there's got to be a catch somewhere. And, as you can see, it currently states that it is a social experiment. Because it's a hyper-deflation coin, and it's not going to be around forever. Like, it's currently 70% of it staked, so it's something that you have to take into consideration when it's kind of a risk. But, yeah, it's literally specifying itself as a joke, in a way. Because uh, if I look at the definition of it, they describe themselves as Dogecoin or DeFi, of DeFi. So you can kind of see from that alone where they're kind of coming from, and the fact that it's not going to be the best thing to go for in the long run, but it could be a fun little challenge and just something fun to do for a little while. But 4% of the coins are in Uniswap, and they are drained daily. 51% are burned daily. of the burned are in the grilled section, and that will come to in a bit. And 48% are distributed to the top 50 holders. Because if we actually look at the way you stake with it, you, here, you can stake in the community pool, which is how you get the 300%. And... That's just general staking, but that is part of yield farming, not actual staking. Uh, or you just be, hold the top 50% or be in the top 50 people holding the actual currency. But you have to have a minimum of 47,000 currently because that is the 50th person is got a little bit less than that. And they're both quite risky because it's... It jumps off quite a lot up and down all over the place and there's a lot going on because it's obviously a social experiment but it's been around now for a while i've been looking at it for a while and decided this is kind of the time to really look at it like even just 10 of them is a dollar and six dollars a year so say if you put in like a grand 18 grand you'd make back 61 grand yeah, so 186,000, you make half a mil a year, which is disgusting. But, smart contracted, which is how it works. But, they have here, this is for the top 50, 50. So you would, any person at any point can click this button if they are in the top 50. And you've got to have it like linked in a certain way. And what it would do is it would do the whole burn process and you would earn this one percent but you obviously want to leave it so it's higher money because then you'd earn more so i could click here and i could uh claim the bucket for me to claim the bucket costs two thousand dollars and there is currently nothing to claim because it's all done through ethereum so it would cost you a disgusting amount of money to be able to actually claim it. So you'd have to have a few thousand in there. But to actually get hold of the currency, it is based on the Ethereum blockchain. So Uniswap is probably the best way to really do it. The currency is here, tend. So one Ethereum would be 9,753 tend. But there's obviously a 5% whatever. And then there's a fee and you'd lose quite a lot of money with it so to actually do the top 50 would be an insane thing to do because of the fact that it is so kind of sketchy in a way um which i will talk about what i saw earlier in a little bit 
but Uniswap obviously is definitely the money. You get hold of it, and then you can go onto their actual yield farming, which it looks like this. Like it's not a very well built system. I've linked my MetaMask to it just so I can show you how it works. And you can see how all the staking is in the community pool, all the staking, however it works. The grill, you can see it all down here. So instead of doing it like through here and whatever else, you can just load up the yield farming, have it all preset up, and do it all in here. So I could stake there, because I don't have any though. But yeah, you just press stake, and you can burn it and unstake and whatever else. Do all you need to through here, and, and then just trade it back and forth through MetaMask in uh uniswap it's a pretty straightforward system you would just go uniswap buy get into your metal mask go back to here press stake and you're done that is literally it it's very very simple but it is a high risk it's no locker period either so you you know it's pretty damn good you do lose 0.05 percent every time you un take and burn but that's what happens with most coins <laughs> You lose something somewhere. They do have a Twitter, which I've uh, been looking at, and it just seems like some insane joke. It's just covered in memes and people, and just, yeah, it's just a meme Twitter. It's kind of really, they really are going on the whole joke. And then on the main page, there is the farm GP, GBP. You, I, I read that at first as Great British Pounds, so, you know, like British currency. But actually what evolved it is, it's good, it's good boy points. Which, I'm still trying to work out how that even works, but you'd freeze Ethereum or whatever that currency is, and you'd earn money, or good boy points, for freezing. And then you'd go into this section here, and you can you know, vote and do whatever, but I don't know what it's for, so I, I didn't really want to link any systems to this and not really know what it's for. It kind of didn't make much sense. And like, someone's transferred 67 cents somewhere. So I don't really know what it's for, so I kind of just ignored that and left it, since it doesn't not really do with the actual coin itself. But it has gone up 24, 28% in the past 24 hours and the basic system of how to stake and how to run this coin is very simple and very kind of anyone can do it you just need to have the currency you don't there's no minimum amount either so you could just put one in or like you could put 10 in and put like a dollar in yes you'd make nothing back really other than six dollars in a year but Right, basically, questions that people would ask about hyperinflation. It's just how, you know, deflation works, which when things like Bitcoin do it and they use the halving as their deflation tool, whereas this, they just burn the currency. So that is a way of doing it. And not one person can own anything. So it's a very, 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 very special experiment. Risk is always present and you kind of should take into consideration everything before you even consider looking at something like this because it could cost you a great deal of money if you invest lots into it and realize that you might lose all your money or you may, might make an absolute crap load but that is up to each person to decide what they do and for me i am not going to get involved in it because that seems like a crazy idea. Because I don't see this coin being around for the longest amount of time. Yes, it's pretty cool that it's involved in Uniswap. And they're doing this clever social experiment to see how things work. But because it is a meme, pretty much, like Dogecoin. It is something that either will be around for a long time or won't be around for a very long time. And it might actually become this amazing coin... And people might make millions off of it. But according to, you know, the market cap's like, definition, the market cap is, is only 1.3 million. And 24 hour trading volume is 
less than 300,000. So it's kind of low and it's rank 1000. So it's very much going to be a, you know, you have to be cautious what you do. Also because 87% is already taken up. When it has 100, it's going to be a bloodbath, I see. But that has been Tendies, a very confusing meme coin. And people can, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave people to do what they want with that. But I thought it was a very interesting coin and I definitely wanted to have a look at it. So I'll leave all the links to all these below. If you want to look at it yourself, go for it. I'm not personally going to. I'm going to leave it because I don't trust it. If I had the expendable cash, I would, but I do not. So, thank you for watching, and I will uh, see you next time.